all you have to say in most arenas is that you're going to SEMA and it ends it. It's game over. Once you say SEMA, oh my gosh, I want to get into SEMA, I want to go, I want to see everything. Sure enough, there's uh, a lot to see. I mean, for a car guy, this oh. is like the mecca, you know what I mean? It, it's what we call car porn. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that there, right there. There is. More ways than one. That's it. So for people that, if, if you've got to live on an island in the middle of like Fiji to not hear and know about this guy. So tell us a little bit about what are you up to and what are you doing? And what you got in a, a, last night when I saw you, you weren't quite as fresh as you are right now. We did uh, about 40, 40 to 50 cars within 48 hours for the four wow. motor company. So I did that for two days uh, before today. So now I'm actually standing up and conscious, which is good. Uh, and then we're going to be doing, uh, you know, kind of cleaning them up, wiping them down. There's just carpet. The carpet's bringing dust onto the cars. With, you know, you would never think of that, right? Yeah. There's so many people walking by that dust hits the car for the wiping it down. We sort of maintain it, maintain the appearance that we created two days ago. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And it's a lot of work. Uh, like you said, it's got the cars are being staged. Sometimes you're working in the staged area, sometimes you're not. But isn't it brilliant to go from, I know we, we, we've had this conversation, from going from just being passionate about detailing to being a part of SEMA, isn't that different? Yeah, it's, it's totally different. I mean, this place uh, inspires a lot of young people to, to detail. And when you come here and you meet everybody all in one group, it's kind of like, oh yeah, you're the guy, I saw that you know, video, or I saw, you know, you're that company, or what have you. It's, it's a great place to, to bring a lot of people and, you know, spark the ideas. Well, you know, and it's and it's great that you mentioned one thing, and that is is that to, to inspire the next generation of detailers. I think that putting a positive attitude, showing them that you can go bigger distances and do much bigger. Who would have thought two schlucks like us would have been doing? You know, here I am at a booth. Here you are doing uh, world class cars and everything, being on TV, on shows, uh, interacting with the people that you do. Would you have ever guessed that was going to happen? No, absolutely not. I mean, I remember the first time I saw you. I was like, oh, that's the oh. guy. That's the guy with the book. I was like, oh, this is exciting. I want to, uh, I want to meet him. And I think that's what you know, SEMA allows people to do that. They come up and, and see the guys that they've seen you know, for their entire life or whatever, and watching YouTube or what have you, and then interact with them. It's, it's pretty special. Tell us about your company and what you do and what you've been doing in detailing. And besides, I mean, how many? How many how, I've always wanted to ask you this. I guess I can go online and find out. Yeah. I guess I can go online and find out. But what, what, how many views do you have on YouTube? Uh, roughly 24, 25 million. 24, 25 million. Yeah. Our channel just hit a million, yeah. and I was happy. Yeah. 24 or 25 million. Now the coolest part is, I, the coolest part is, I have uh, close to 105,000 subscribers, which is like double the next guy, next biggest guy. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. That's that's a big. I'm pretty excited. And then you're also the founder of Ammo. So that's tell us a little bit about something about that. Yeah. Ammo NYC. Uh, you know, I created a couple years ago. Uh, I've been passionate about cars, obviously, forever, but I've been really focused on the products themselves and how to make them. My wife has her PhD in chemistry, my father's a chemist, so it's in the family to design it and really uh, kind of manufacture these products. And I never intended to sell them. I tell it to everybody. I, I had no intention, I just wanted them for me, for my detailing business. And they just kind of ratcheted it up, and now we're in 52 countries and hanging out, and uh, it's, it's just grown on its own. I'm not really pushing it. I'm not even wearing my stuff today. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, if you had one word to describe what's propelled you up in business, what would that one word be? I got it. Persistence. Ooh, I like it. Persistence, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, they always say that people say no. Uh, you know, not, not everybody's interested in what you have to say. But if you just keep kind of doing your thing and kind of keep blinders on and, and stick to the morals that you've created beforehand, you know, the standards that you want to you live to, uh, I think it always works out for everybody. I just think when people fail, they kind of get bored and they're not persistent and it fades away and then they're done. But if you just stay persistent, I mean, you can be a, in the ring, you can be a mountaineer, it doesn't matter how old, how young, whatever, you just stay persistent. That's my That is amazing. Well, Larry, hey, it was a wonderful time seeing you, and always is. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, you guys, if you haven't seen his stuff, you got to look him up. Uh, you've got a pad, the podcast series. Yes. Uh, you just you do a lot of wonderful things. So, on behalf of the people that I can influence in the industry, thank you for all you do. You got it. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much.